Hi friends, how are you? How is your study going on? So without wasting your time, today we will discuss the same topic about the pair of linear equations in two variables. In my previous videos, already I have explained you about the graphical representation and about the uh, linear equations which are consistent and which are inconsistent. So today we will discuss about the algebraic method of solving linear equations in two variables. So let us see about the algebraic method. So in today's method, algebraic method, we will discuss about the method of substitution. So let us start the algebraic method for solving the pair of linear equations in two variables. So algebraic method. Algebraic method for solving for solving a pair of linear equation equations in two variables algebraic method in two variables. So today's method is your substitution. Substitution. As the name suggests, substitution. So you have to substitute one in place of other. Like you might have heard this word, substitute player in cricket. When one player gets injured, then he is replaced by another player called substitute player. So similarly, the substitute word is also used in our mathematics. Here is method of substitution. What is this substitution? Here one variable. Say x plus y is equal to uh, let's say 15 and x minus y is equal to 3. I have taken a pair of linear equation in two variables. So, in this method of substitution, I have to substitute one variable in term of other. What I have to do? Substitute one variable in term of other for solving this pair of linear equation in two variables. So, now, here, what steps will follow one by one? I will discuss. So, I given a pair of equation. A pair of equations. Here, you will say x plus y is equal to 15. That implies x is equal to 15 minus y. This is my first equation. This is my second one. This is my third one. Now, uh, substituting the value of x in equation 2, we will get, what we will get? x minus y is equal to 3. So, in place of x, I have write 15 minus y. So 15 minus y minus y is equal to 3. That implies 15 minus 2y is equal to 3. That implies 15 minus 3 is equal to 2y. That implies 12 is equal to 2y. That implies 12 by 2 is equal to y. That implies y is equal to 6. I have solved this one, finding the value of y. Now, putting this value of y in this equation 3. So, y is equal to here uh, 6. x is equal to 15 minus y is equal to 15 minus 6 is equal to 9. Therefore, x is equal to 9. 
and y is equal to 6. This is your answer. Solution of the given pair of linear equation in two variables. But here we have got a unique solution. One solution in common. So we can say these are intersecting, consistent and dependent. Consistent and dependent or independent. Which one is correct? This is intersecting. So, consistent and independent. Not dependent. Independent. So, now, now discuss about the methods. About the methods. What we have done? Number one, steps. Steps. One. So, find the find the value of one variable in term of in term or terms of other variable other variable step one number two see find the value of one variable in terms of other variable x per your convenience as per your convenience I have taken x somebody will say no I will not take x I will take y ok no problem anyone can be taken you can subject to x you can subject to y also but find the value of one variable in term of other variable like x is equal to 15 minus y why why we should do it so by uh, substituting the value of one variable in term of other other to solve the linear equation we will get a linear equation in one variable one variable so initially we have two variables initially we have x and y now after substituting what i got 15 minus 2y is equal to 3. I have only one variable. So, by substituting the value of one variable in term of other to solve the linear equations. Solve the linear equations. We will get a linear equation in one variable. Then, uh, obtaining the value of one variable, one variable and substituting it in the other, we can get the value of, value of both the variables by law, both the variables. So, here, step 1, subject, step 2, substitute, step 3, put the value to get the value of the substituted variable, what we have taken earlier, x is equal to 15 minus y, this is. So, which is step 1? Step 1 is here, this is your 1, step 1, this is your step 1. Then, what is your step 2? This is by substituting the value of variable in term of other first one, this is sorry, this is your step one, this is your step two, this is your step three, step three, steps, steps, steps. So steps one, two, three. Here we are getting the value of x and y. Now we'll give some more examples for better explanation. So, move on to the next example. So, we have to take a pair of linear equation in 
टू वेरिएबल्स सो लेट्स से टू एक्स प्लस वाई माइनस फाइव इज इक्वल टू जीरो फोर एक्स प्लस टू वाई माइनस टेन इज इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इज ए पेयर ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशंस इन टू variables we can in the standard form so this we can write 2x plus y is equal to 5 equation 1 4x plus 2y is equal to 10 equation 2 you can write this one now uh, 2x plus y is equal to 5 so i can write y is equal to 5 minus 2x This is equation three. I have taken y is the subject. Y is the subject. Now, now what I'll do? Substituting the value of y in equation two, we will. Get what will get in equation two? Four equation two four x plus two y is equal to ten. Now x four x plus two into five minus two x is equal to ten. That implies four x plus ten minus four x is equal to ten. So plus four x minus four x cancel. That implies ten is equal to ten. Ten is equal to ten. <coughs> Here we will not find the common so solution. It has no specific value of x. It has no specific value of x. We cannot. Get ah uh, any value of x because both the equations are equivalent or we can say also. Same, but not same. It is equivalent, equivalent. So it has many. So it has many common solutions. It has many common solutions. So why? Because we have taken the value of y is equal to five minus two x. We have taken the value of y is equal to five minus two x. We have substituted the value of y, but we are getting ten is equal to ten. So this is true. This is true for any value of y. Y value is five minus two x. But for any value of y, this is true. This is true. So we are not getting what specific value of x. Hence, we cannot get any value of x because both the equations are equivalent. Equivalent. See, two x into two four x, y into two two y, five into two ten, including all signs are also same. So two are equivalent equations. Hence. It has many common solutions. Many common solutions. So consistent, consistent, and dependent, consistent and dependent. So we can say, ah, uh, lines are what coincident. Lines are coincident. So. 
will give another example to learn more about the pair of linear equations in two variables in this method of substitution that case will be the equation for parallel lines so let us see about the parallel lines now we will take nx plus 3y minus 4 is equal to 0 one equation other one is 2x plus 6y minus 12 is equal to 0 a pair of a pair of linear equations in two variables so now i can write x plus 3y uh, is equal to 4 equation 1 i can write 2x plus 6y is equal to 12 equation 2 now x plus 3y is equal to 4 that implies x is equal to 4 minus 3y so this is equation 3 substituted x in term of y express x in term of y subject to x this is called subject to x now putting the value of x in equation 3 we will get what we will get equation sorry equation 2 in equation 2 so 2x plus 6y is equal to 12 that implies 2 into 4 minus 3y because x is equal to 4 minus 3y plus 6y is equal to 12 that implies 8 minus 6y plus 6y is equal to 12 plus 6y minus 6y cancel that implies 8 is equal to 12 which is a false statement which is a false statement how 8 will be equal to 12 so this is a false statement so all you can say therefore the equations do not have any common solutions any common solutions hence the lines or pair of equations you can say pair of equations lines are parallel to each other each other then inconsistent inconsistent parallel inconsistent now this also we can verify using graph already i have explained you in my previous videos how to draw the graph how to know the lines are parallel or intersecting or coincident so you can also verify this in the graph sheet now thanks for watching my videos till now till yet if you have not subscribed my channel you subscribe first so that you can get new new conceptual videos in the future thank you all